Hey, Steve Zook here. Welcome back to Poke Series Channel. Hey, I want to do a little light discussion on court cycle number one, a little bit of light theory. I actually just did this, but my, my camera was packed up, the memory card. So I need to do it again. Anyway, um, let me just make the point. I study, I'm 60 now. I studied with Joe Pass when I was in my early 20s. I also studied with Horace Hatchett, who taught um, Howard Roberts how to play. Uh, Howard Roberts went on to become one of the best jazz guitar players in the world. He uh, studied, I mean, he uh, started the GIT in Hollywood, which is now uh, MIT, uh, one of the most famous guitar schools in the world. But um, I want to kind of quote some things. The bottom line, like Joe Pass used to say, and I, I love to quote Joe Pass because not only was he one of the finest guitar players ever to be on the planet and had one of the best ears, and that's really the point of the guitar ladder system is waking up your musical ear. And I just want to make the point that over-intellectualizing music um, can really hold you back, and, and you know, th getting into heavy, heavy theory can really hold you back. It's like I can tell you what steak and lobster tastes like, or prime rib and lobster, but until you eat it and taste it, you'll know more. But it's like Miles Davis said, learn as much as you can about music and forget all the shit and just play. Most great music is a combination of different approaches. And I do teach the 10 different systems of improvisation, but what's so cool is they're wrapped right up inside of my cycles. I do discuss some theory, but like, for instance, cycle number one, you learn about smooth voice leading by just doing the cycle. You can see how from this chord to this chord is small interval skips. You got two common tones, right? The bass kind of moves up. Now, if you want to analyze cycle one a little bit, you know, in diatonic harmony, it's major, minor, minor, major, dominant, minor, minor, seven, flat, five, major. So this could be a one chord in D, the diminish is a passing chord. Notice the common tones. Common tones is, is one, of the, one of my principles of chord connection principles. Common tones helps to create smooth voice leading and, and more musical sounding, like this, for instance, okay, like. Okay, anyway, so major seven, one, diminish seven is a passing chord. This is a minor 7-2 in the key of D, passing chord. Um, this is a 3 chord in D, right? 1, 2, 3, okay. The B7 is a temporary modulation, if you want to look at it that way, to E, or just an altered, you know, just an altered, uh, you know, 6 in D. It doesn't really matter. It's like, it's like Joe Pass said, simplify your thinking. I mean, Joe Pass could have gotten into some very intense theory, but he just said, oh, major and minor. I mean, it's simplify your thinking and experience, you know, these different chords. And all my chord cycles, like I said, it's a result of over 40 years of work. And um, if you just go through the cycles, you're going to get so much out of it. And you'll learn automatically, like here, kind of intervallic approach. Let me get back to cycle one. Now, so the bass kind of, which is kind of nice, right? Then major seven, one. One converts to diminished seven. Here, the minor seven, that's a C sharp minor seven. So that's kind of, you know, a three chord. You could look at it that way, a three chord in A. Converts over to diminished seven. Horace Hatchet used to call that shading, like when if you're doing chord melody or if you're just writing a beautiful chord progression, you do a little bit of shading. It's like an artist does shading. You may end up on a certain type of a chord, but then you do shading where you slightly alter that chord, okay? And then here we have B minor 7, okay? Which could be a 2 chord in A, converts over diminished 7, a little bit of shading, and then resolves to A major 7, which can be a 1 chord, um, you know, in A, obviously, right? Or, or it could be a 4 chord in E. Again, it's the idea that's important, not the definition. Joe Cass used to say that a lot. And like when I studied with Horace Hatchett, he used to talk about the interior and exterior movement of the chords, and he used to make, the, and Horace Hatchett was one of the most brilliant guitar minds ever on the planet. Again, he taught Howard Roberts how to play when Howard Roberts was a young man in Arizona. And when I took from Horace Hatchett, he used to have all these little sheets that you could barely read. And he didn't have some big elaborate presentation, but the material was deep, and it was some of the best on the planet. And I feel my guitar ladder program has some of the best material on the planet. Uh, may not have a bunch of split screens and fancy stuff and everything, but, you know, what I'm asking is people that buy the guitar ladder system, please don't pick it apart. Put your ego on the back burner and you'll get a lot more out of this. My students who got, I mean, made miraculous strides. Uh, I mean, people that went, you know, in seven or eight months from almost barely playing to, to uh, going up.
up and down the neck, you know, in chord melody and right note arrangements. I mean, just absolutely miraculous growth. They had the smallest egos of all people, and that the growth was huge. So just, it's really important that you don't over-intellectualize my stuff, that you just work on the cycles, bring some positive faith to the table. Please don't, you know, overly criticize it or try to tell me what to do. Just, just bring me a little bit of respect, okay? I appreciate it. Bring me a little bit of respect. I know what I'm doing here. You can read the review of my CD at Vintage Guitar Magazine. I'll send you a couple of my tunes. But, you know, th this this system works. And really, I charge 100 bucks an hour for lessons here, and I get it. Okay, so $199 for all this material is an absolute steal. But like I said, put your back, put your ego on the back burner. Don't over-intellectualize it. Don't pick it apart. You know, just be positive about it. Bring some positive faith to the table and you'll get a ton out of it, okay? And with, within my different chord cycles, you're automatic, automatically uh, going to learn about intervallic improvisation, symmetry, common tone, smooth voice leading, uh, you know, high tension, low tension chords, flat five subs, secondary dominant, all, you know, contrary motion. All this is in there. And I will be probably augmenting some additional theory, but I really want to make the point, oh, getting into too much theory can really bog you down. It's more important that you develop your ear. That's why Joe Pass was so great, because he did a lot of choral work and he, he developed, he, you, you want to wake up your musical ear. When you wake up your musical ear, that's when you really make some massive, massive, massive growth, okay? I gotta cut this short so it downloads. But anyway, so work on work on these cycles. And if you're thinking about buying the guitar layer system, just go for it. You got a three-year membership. You're gonna get a ton of material. Most of the material is already done, but I continue to augment it and uh, add to it. And you know, when when you're done with the cycle, just email me back. I'll send you another one. But there's no rush, and take your time on it, okay? But I'm not I'm not kidding. I've been doing this for a long, long time, and the results can be huge. But just you know. You need to kind of humble out a little bit and bring some respect to the table. Work on the material. It's very, very powerful. It reflects, like I said, Joe Pass, Horace Hatchett. I also study from Tony Rizzi. And, uh, it, it's, but it's all my own original material. And I've, I've seen just massive growth in my students. Okay. All right. So I appreciate it. Take care. If you need a, the Laura Arch Top, give me a call. I'll order, order you one. Take care.